in Cape Town is hosting a special event to commemorate and pay tribute to the Akaman clan of the Namaz and their contribution to the shape and course of the country's complex history. Young dancers, a Nama language teacher and various teachers or leaders of the clan delivered the story of the people and role of the youth in the preservation of the Nama culture. Our reporter Mariska Borta spoke to a uh, Marinus Fredericks, an Amman traditional authority. What is the importance of today? What is the message you want to bring to the youth today? Hi, good morning. Uh, yes, for me it's important to start that awareness with the youth, for them to start owning up their, their identity. Of course, with the identity, there's a few things attached to identity. That is one, that's your language. Secondly, that is your culture, that's your tradition. And fourthly, that would be your land, a right to land. Those are the important things that we want to sort of, and then also part of that we would, would like to commemorate and celebrate the role that our chiefs and leaders of this clan has played in the history of South Africa and in Namibia. Please bring that in context for us a little bit, just a little bit of that history, the, the important role that the Kaman people played in, in Southern Africa. Yeah, if you go back in, in history, the Kaman people remember with the Battle of Blauberg, uh, that was 1806. That was a very short battle, but they participated in that battle. So few people know that the indigenous people were also part of that battle. But just after that battle, unfortunately, our leadership, they didn't want to be controlled by the, by, the, by the British government, so they opted to move across the Orange River where they then settled up. The leader then, Chief Jacobus Fredericks, he then bought Quigandes, which is Club Fontaine, mm -hmm. and now Bitani, he bought it from the Red Nation, from the greater uh, Namas. And in that period, w they were still um, working with the people in South Africa. Remember the, the, the family is, there's two parts of the family. One part of the family is the boys family and the, the other part is the Fredericks family. So they were from the, from 1806, we had a continuous um, chieftaincy handed over from father to son and from 1806 up till today, where we recently lost our last leader, which is uh, Chief David Fredericks. But uh, that's not all lost because he will be replaced by a new leader, which we will probably within the next couple of months identify. And then um, maybe just lastly, do you think the youth, the youth is apathetic uh, to the history and the past? Are you seeing a resurgence maybe in interest in, in this history? There's definitely a resurgence of interest in the history because people becoming aware of their real identity. Up to date, people were brought up as so-called coloreds, but now they realize but they are not real coloreds. So even if you look at the school textbooks, school textbooks talk about indigenous people as, as parrots, they uh, disappeared. It's not entirely true because EMI, I'm alive and I'm an indigenous person. So yes, it is crucially important that the youth starts to um, own up their identity and there's definitely an awareness starting because if you look at the number of real dance competitions, 150 of them, uh, two years back we were in a competition abroad. So those are the kind of things that, that create the interest for people. And then on a regular basis, year on year, we have the Nama festivals which become much, much bigger now. Thank you very much. That was Martinez Fredericks, the leader of the Kaman people in South Africa. And today, of course, there will be discussions, uh, there will be talks, the youth will be involved uh, to share a little bit of the important and rich history that uh, the Kaman people had in South Africa. With that, it's back to you in the studio.